lesson, you will get to know where to find game assets and how to import them. We will talk about prefabs in Unity and learn how to work with them. And we will add a real character on our scene and give him physics components. Let's talk about game assets. They are everything a user of your app will see – characters, background, platforms, and so on. First of all, let's create a new scene. File – No Scene. And let's save this one. All right. So, I encourage you to click here, next to the scene view, we have Asset Store and log in into Unity Asset Store. They have a bunch of absolutely free assets, both characters and backgrounds. And these assets are certainly useful when you are learning or creating your first game. And we can even click here, free assets, and we got a, a really very large variety of free assets, which is really great. I will use this uh, swordman from Black Hammer. Thanks, buddy. So click on download here, but I have already downloaded, so I have import here. And after you downloaded it, just click on import. And it takes a while for it to, uh, to be ready. So here are all the files which are included in this pack. Let's have a look what we have. We have sprites. It's just our character divided by parts. Like you, you see head, leg, shield. We also have animation here. And that's great. We got animation files. So we also have a demo scene and other files. In case you don't need something, you may uncheck the boxes like this, for example. But, but I'd like to input all these files. Import. So now all the assets are uh, being imported to our assets folder here. Let's hold on for a second. We are ready. Yeah. So now in our assets uh, folder, we have our slow swordman. And it contains all the folders that we have seen previously. Uh, let's find our uh, hero. Let's find his prefab. And I'll tell you what, what it is later. Oops. Didn't mean it. All right, let's turn on uh, the plane mode. And yeah, we see the animation of this character. So this position means idle position. So the character is staying still and do nothing, but he has to do something uh, just in order to look interesting. All right. Let's take a look at the hierarchy here. So you see that uh, next to the sword man, we have this blue box. So the blue box means that it is a prefab. Prefab is a template. Unity's prefab system allows you to create, configure, and store a game object complete with all its components, property values, and child game objects as a reusable asset. When you want to reuse a game object configured in a particular way, in multiple places in your scene or across multiple scenes in your project, you should convert it to a prefab. That is better than simply copying and pasting the game object 
because the prefab system allows you to automatically keep all the copies in sync. So any edits that you make to a prefab asset are automatically reflected in the instances of that prefab, allowing you to easily make broad changes across your whole project without having to repeatedly make the same edit to every copy of the asset. So let's take a look at this prefab. It consists of what? Let's see. Sprite renderer. Right, this prefab consists of sprites. They're simple sprites, like the ball we created before. They are PNG files. Let's take a look. It's too small, <laughs> but you can try to make it bigger. What is it? It's, it's his leg? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Definitely it. So, yeah, in our assets folder, we have all these sprites, you see. And do remember, in the very beginning, we had only standard sprites like circle and uh, square. But right now, we have all these sprites because they were in the assets pack that we have downloaded. And if we click on the swordman, we see that it has the animator component. We will talk about it in the next lesson. And of course, you can create a character or a background or whatever by yourself. Just don't forget to put each body part to a separate layer if we are talking about characters and if you are going to animate them later. And if you work in Photoshop, save your drawings like PNG files and simply drag and drop it to your assets folder here. And then add it to your scene. That's it. Our character does not have the important components you already know. Rigid body and collider, which means we need to add it. But in most cases, rigid body and collider are included to the character on the game scene. Let's find it here. Demo prefab. Here. Yes, you see the hero from the demo scene. He has rigid body and capsule collider. But we are game developers, so let's delete it and add these components by ourselves. Let's click here. Add component, rigid body. Dynamic type, all right, and collider. Yeah, capsule collider is what we need. We can either use box collider in this case or capsule collider. All right, click on edit collider. Let's make it bigger. One more thing about prefabs. We have created rigid body and capsule collider while the sword man was highlighted. And we have these small pluses. Do you see it? That means the component is not added in the prefab. You see the animator component doesn't have the plus. Find overrides here. Next, choose your component and apply apply to prefab again apply apply to prefab all right so now there are no pluses that's good but uh it's a kind of bad way to do it the better way is to click here and open our prefab and in this view, add components. 
And if you add components here, they will be inside the prefab. So I have created rigid body and collider for my flare. And now I need a ground. Let's create sprite. In a sprite, rename it to ground. Choose one of the sprites. Something like, like this. All right. Let's make it bigger. All but that's because it uh, it wasn't designed for this manipulations. All right, I have my ground. And now we need to add uh, the same components for our ground. Box Collider first. Edit Collider. To make it just the way our shape is good and let's add rigid body the body type is static all right and i want to do one more thing we have the animator here but i'd like to delete it because uh, so to delete the component, we simply need to right click on it and remove component. All right, the, this animator component was created by someone who uh, created this, uh, this character and this, this scene, but it, it does not work just the way I want it. So I want to start from the very beginning. So no animator just rigid body collider and that's all all right so now we have rigid body and collider for our character and for our ground let's play the plane mode and i'm expecting my character to fall down yeah of course <laughs> and one more thing go to our character click on rigid body find constraints here and check freeze rotation z if we don't do that the character will be rotating while falling although you may need him to rotate it's up to you but in most cases it's better to freeze rotation along Z axis. Hey, we have our character placing on the ground. Isn't it amazing? Let's go to the next lesson.